Yo, welcome to Feeding Time. I am the big guy Ryback. Here in the old Challenger, got the uh, loser food tray. Got it. Get this all uh, hooked up. I found a nice little parking spot with a little bit of shade. It is uh, 107 currently. That will probably shoot up to about 112, 113 here in the next uh, couple hours. I'm uh, gonna go do a big, uh, big workout. My last workout of the week. And uh, this is my cheat meal and uh, knock out a couple videos today. I, I did my breakfast already. Um, and I didn't have my protein shake. I saved it. Um, I'm doing the new Arby's. Beer battered fish sandwich. And I got myself more information. I got two of these bad boys. Um, it looks like a nice... Uh, Toasted buttery bun. We got uh, some tartar sauce on the on the top end. We got some lettuce, tomatoes, and it looks like a little more uh, tartar sauce on the bottom there. So uh, very interested to seeing how these are. Got my coffee. I got my Pump Plex City. gonna do it do it right stupid stupid get a little shaky there <clears throat> I was out in the sun for a long time um my hot tub I don't know and my did went my pool get a little I haven't didn't go out there for a few days and uh man that hot tub 105 degrees in the hot tub and it's you know equally as hot outside 20, 30 minutes in that thing. It can uh, and then go out in the pool for another, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Shit can drain you a little bit. You gotta be careful. Oh, they got pickles on there too. The old pickle surprise. That's what she said. Mmm. <laughs> look like this is a big sandwich and they made them fresh too I had to park up front they taste like it too Presentation wise, these look, it's like when you see a picture on the on the thing and then you get the item and it doesn't look like it. This look exactly like the picture. Wish my Tinder dates looked like the fucking picture. I'm kidding, I'm not on there. I was at one point many years ago. I couldn't do it. It's too much. A lot of people are on that. I used to do the same people on it for like years. You're like, oh, there's that chick again. You just like, you think, what the fuck's wrong with her? And then you realize you were on there too. And you're like, wait, wait. It's just not, I don't know, too much. Plus, nobody believes it's really you anyways. And they're just like, they're like, well, what are you doing on here? We're like, we're like, uh, trying to meet another human. We're, we're the, we're the fuck out. But then you just realize Instagram is way better. It's more natural too. Cause like you can like flirt on the comments a little bit without flirting. Like, hey, I'm, I'm notice you. Little flex, clappy hands. 
great post. Love your content. Give it a few weeks. Bro, DM in there. That meme was great, Susie. I loved that meme. But you, the, the, the thing is, you got to put in a little work. Build a little rapport, you know? It's not just a swipe right. Hey, want to fuck? All right. That's the society we live in, though. I need more information, guys. I know, I know. I also fucking comments. I'm wearing an AEW shirt. God forbid. There'll be a hundred fucking comments. Ryback AEW confirmed. Also, when the fuck did the thing begin? I sometimes just go block people. I'm really, I just block people. I'm, I'm really trigger happy on the blocks and the mutes on all platforms. And it's just a mindset thing. If I just see someone has a stupid mindset that I just like, eh, I don't care. When did the does the, the the comment start? Like, does Ryback comment and we'll, we'll insert anybody's name, whoever? I blocked a few people when I see them doing that. Over, yeah, I do comment. I comment by blocking your ass, dumbass. <laughs> Go create another account if you want to follow me. I don't give a shit. I just don't. I just people that go around doing that all day. It's like that first comment thing. I'll block some people if I see them doing that enough. First comment, well, Ted, it's your last comment. Because <laughs> you're a dumb shit. You know, go fucking do something today, Ted. Jeff. These are messy. This one's really messy. outside of a bar a couple going in it's two o'clock in the afternoon here in vegas people just go to bars and just get loaded they got their mask on though they serve food though so they're allowed to stay open what a weird fucking thing wear your mask in outside let's wear a mask and then come in and then when you sit down Take your mask off and just get fucking drunk. Just makes you question things. Not the people, just the, the rules. God, I'd give anything to just eat some chips and salsa and get day drunk right now. What a great video that would be. 12 hours of just chips and salsas and drinking with me on YouTube. Set up a pod somewhere at a nice Mexican restaurant. Chica Bonita. Ah, fuck. This is all falling apart. So good. a second. I'm gonna drink this and just get fucking jacked. Pumped. I will say my Feed Me More Nutrition. In the comments, check it out. My cash giveaway. For the details, I'm giving out $1,250 this week. All the info information's in the comments. On the top pinned comment. I won't talk your off on it on this. If you want to enter, I'm, I'm called the person on Saturday, live on my Feed Me More TV here. It's as real as it gets. I'm getting, I want to give out $5,000 a week. The more people that buy, the more cash I'm giving out every week. Deal? Deal. Oh, fuck! 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 I got white stuff all over my clothes. Oh, I gotta go to the gym. 
Oh. Look like I cummed all over myself. Fuck. And there's all this cussing. This video's not even going to get distributed properly. So I come by myself for nothing. What am I doing? I'm entertaining, damn it. That's what I'm doing. World's falling apart. Fear has crept into the nation unlike anything before. The world has turned to the big guy Ryback to just entertain. Forget about your problems for 15, 20 minutes. Watch the big guy review some food like a real loser piece of shit. Wow. Oh, man. This is... The lettuce is so stringy. It just falls all over the place. All right. Done. Ahem. <clears throat> I definitely need to get out and shake off, but I'll wait and do it after this video. All right, guys. There you have it. That was the beer battered fish sandwich from Arby's. I think this is a newer item. Um, they told me to start doing more relevant things on my food video, so I just copy what I see, like Review Bra and Dame Drops, and I just say, oh, what are they doing? And then I'm going to do that, too. That's what they told me to do. And because I can't, I, I don't, I, I only do this on Sunday. So I'm never, unless a, a food item comes out on the day that I do this, <clears throat> I'm never going to be the first one to do something trendy or cool and hip and review it. I'll never have the first review of a new item because I don't eat shit seven days a week. Some of these other guys are just fucking living in their cars eating shit every day. I can't do that. I gotta stay fucking jacked. Vegetarian diet, almost six days a week. Six days a week, pretty much. I'll do salmon one day sometime for some uh, omega threes. So, anyways, guys, I know you want to get to the nitty gritty here. What's my review out of five five stars? For this beer battered fish sandwich. I've had some fish sandwiches in my day. This ranks up there with them. They put these together well. I'm thinking, how could those have been any better? And I don't think they could have done anything to make those any better. I'm giving them five stars. There would be no reason. The only thing is they're a little messy. I'm not going to knock a sandwich for being a little messy. That's more on me for just being in my car eating like a fucking loser, right? can't knock the fish for that thankful for every meal as we say thank you to myself for the food especially when eating another live creature five stars so if you like fish sandwiches give this a try highly recommend this highly recommend it that was delicious and uh, that's it guys I thank you, as always, for watching Voice of Still Horse from that League of Fire chug challenge so I can't be quite as animated <clears throat> as I try to get my voice back. Check out my uh, podcast, The Ryback Show. We are making moves as I try to get into the top 10 here and uh, really going to start marketing the show and making a real push. Uh, I got Santino Morella on this week, and I got Rusev on next week. So that is sure to be, uh, both the episodes are going to be fantastic. And uh, I appreciate all the love and support from you guys with everything, as always. And uh, thank you for stopping by. And if you can comment, if you like the video. Um, and other than that, I'll see you next time. Feed me more.